Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining nitrous and how nitrous can be used to increase horsepower. Now Nitrous Express was kind enough to send me a full nitrous kit for the use of this video so, to help me explain this. So after I uh, demonstrate with this whiteboard how it works, we're going to take a look at an actual system, see all the components involved, and see how that works. So nitrous oxide, the purpose of a nitrous system is to increase horsepower. Now how it does this is by allowing the engines to burn more fuel per power stroke. Now, how does it allow the engine to burn more fuel? Well, it increases the amount of oxygen inside of the cylinder during each power stroke. So, what we've got here is a plate type system. Now, there's multiple uh, ways you can, you can do this, but for the demonstration here, what we've got is a plate, and this plate is between our throttle body and our intake manifold, and you've got injectors, you've got fuel solenoids, and a nitrous uh, solenoid, so these are going to control the flow of nitrous and fuel which are going to be injected into this plate sandwiched between the throttle body and the intake manifold. So here we've got, uh, and you've got individual injectors as well. Now there's two types of nitrous systems. There's dry systems and there are wet systems. Now a dry system is going to be just nitrous injection and it's going to have to be used with electronic fuel injection because as you're injecting the nitrous, you're going to have more oxygen in your cylinders. Now you'll have an overly lean mixture, so obviously you need to burn more fuel. So your ECU is going to tell your fuel injectors, hey, you need to inject more fuel. And it's going to do that by listening to the oxygen sensor in the exhaust that's saying, hey, there's too much oxygen coming through here. You're burning a lean mixture. We need to fix this. So it doesn't react quite as quickly as a wet system where you've already got the correct amount of air and fuel. So, as I just said, a wet system, you're going to be injecting nitrous and fuel. So, this is a wet system here where you've got nitrous coming in on one side of this plate and fuel coming in on the other side of the plate. Now, you're also going to have individual fuel injectors for each of your cylinders, or it could be carbureted and then you'd have another system of fuel coming in. Regardless, there is going to be, there's going to be fuel that's going to be burned with the air that's coming in, and then there's going to be fuel that's going to be burned with the nitrous coming in. So it's constantly correcting that air-fuel mixture and you're going to keep the right amount of air and fuel in each, uh, in each cylinder during the combustion process. So, what's the process starting at this plate? Well, you're going to be injecting the nitrous and the fuel into the intake manifold. Now what happens when that nitrous and fuel is injected into the intake manifold is the nitrous, which is coming in as a liquid, once it's sprayed in, it changes to a gas. And when it changes state, it drops its temperature to minus 127 degrees Fahrenheit. So what that does is it cools the entire intake charge, therefore allowing you to pack more air and fuel into each cylinder, and then you're going to increase your horsepower. So that's one way that it helps increase power. Uh, also, our next step, what we've got is the cylinder is compressing, what you've got is a nitrogen, uh, two nitrogen atoms and one oxygen atom fused together. So that oxygen can't combust when it's connected with that nitrogen. So it has to be split free uh, to be able to combust with the fuel. So what happens is, during compression and during combustion, when that air-fuel mixture is heating up, once it reaches about 600 degrees Fahrenheit, that oxygen splits off. And once it splits off, it can combust with the added fuel. So you've got more oxygen, you've got more fuel, and each and in the same power stroke this is occurring. So you're going to create a larger reaction, larger combustion, bigger force pushing down on that piston and therefore create more power. So now let's take a look at what the actual system looks like and how the, the flow of nitrous gets here and how the flow of fuel gets there and how the system works. So here we have our full nitrous kit and we're just going to start at the bottle and work our way up and just check out the different components, see how they all work together to increase horsepower. So, starting with the bottle, you're going to have these mounts and it's going to be mounted somewhere in your car. As I've shown here, with the bottom of the bottle is going to be lower than the top, reason being there's a siphon down here which is going to be pulling the liquid nitrous and sending it to this line, which will then come to your plate sandwiched between the throttle body and the intake manifold. And here you've got the mechanical solenoid, which when activated will allow the nitrous to spray in through these little holes you see here. Now on the other side, 
you're going to have a fuel line. So you're going to have your fuel line coming in here, and then this is going to lead to the fuel rail injector, which will be injecting fuel to the engine directly. Um, and then you've got this fuel line, which will pull in additional fuel to this plate. And so then you've got another mechanical solenoid, which when activated will spray the fuel in through these little nozzles here, or these little holes here. Okay, so then we've got some electronics involved. So what activates this is when you're on wide open throttle. So when you're on wide open throttle, you've floored it basically, you're going to have this sensor here which is going to be attached to, it's going to be wired to the throttle position sensor. So when the throttle position sensor reaches its maximum voltage or the highest, uh, highest setting on the, on the throttle, it's going to send a signal to this and this is going to send a signal um, to this relay. Now this relay is what sends power to these solenoids. So once this is read that the throttle position sensor is at wide open throttle, it sends a signal to this relay. This relay is connected to the battery and so it sends a power supply from the battery to these mechanical solenoids, opening them up and allowing the uh, fuel and nitrous to be injected. Now here we just have the little cool button that you see in all the movies and everything. Um, so basically this is just going to arm the system that will be connected to this throttle position sensor um, and it will say, okay, when this senses that uh, wide open throttle has been reached, then you will activate these solenoids. You can just leave it off and then still get to wide open throttle and it won't send in nitrous. Now the cool thing about nitrous kits is how easily you can change the amount of horsepower that your engine's going to produce. So you've got these little uh, brass jets here which are located inside of uh, uh, this fuel connection. So for example, here's the little brass jet and you simply stick this brass jet in here and then connect the fuel line. And so you'll have a brass jet, one for the nitrous and one for the fuel. And depending on which jets you choose is how much horsepower you'll create. So for example, these two here, you'll, create, you'll add an additional 50 horsepower whereas these uh, down here you'll add an additional 200 horsepower. So you can see these are not the nozzles for the nitrous system um, and you can see how much larger they are than the fuel uh, injectors or jets and that's so the, obviously you're going to be having uh, more uh, nitrous injected than fuel. So thanks for watching and if you have any additional questions or comments feel free to leave them below.